Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We are so happy to welcome Stacy Burks, Executive Director of the American Red Cross of Southwest Missouri. And um, she's been watching our show this morning. She said she wished she was in the kitchen with us, and we wish that too. Stacy, great to see you this morning. <laughs> Fantastic to see you all both. We'll save okay. you a little uh, jar dressing. of this. Dre we got dressing now, okay? Um, now, Stacy. That's great. Yes. You have a battle of the badges uh, going on or coming up. Can you tell us what that is and how that works? Absolutely. Battle of the Badges is a friendly competition between our police department and fire departments, and we're doing it in the city of Lebanon next week. And we have people who come out and donate on behalf of their favorite team, Team Blue or Team Red. And you know who wins in this are the patients across the country who are in need of blood. Absolutely. I'm, I'm curious, mm -hmm. Stacy. is there a certain blood type that you're really low on? Is there something that you really need, or do you need all of them? We would encourage everybody to come out. Of course, type O is always needed, um, but we would encourage everybody to come out. You know, you may be the perfect match for somebody who is in need of a very specific blood type. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're in the process of uh, testing folks for sickle cell anemia trait. Mm -hmm. And we also are, help, are continuing to test folks for COVID antibodies. And so it may just be that, uh, that you have the blood that somebody desperately needs. And, you know, uh, people don't think about this. Is there a deficit, first of all, right now? And this is something that is ongoing. People always need extra blood. People do always need the, the extra blood. You know, there's a shelf life on blood. Blood is one of those things that we cannot manufacture. Mm -hmm. And so it has to come from human donors. And as we sit here this week, it's National Volunteer Week. Donors are also volunteers for our agencies. And we thank those and appreciate those people who come out. Mm -hmm. And so it's vital that we see those people turn out. Every 45 days, blood has a shelf life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, you know, it, we need it on the shelf before that emergency hits. Right. Stacy, mm -hmm. tell us, how does Battle of the Badges work? And how um, can people get involved? And who's won more, the firemen or the policemen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, so the people can get involved by going to redcrossblood.org or downloading the Red Cross Blood Donor app on your um, app store on your phone. You're going to put in City of Lebanon for the code, and then you're going to sign up for an appointment time. Once you sign up for that appointment time, you can actually save yourself about 15 minutes by doing your rapid pass. Then show up the day of the drive, April 29th, between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. at the Mill Center in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get you um, through the, the process there, and you're going to donate a pint of blood. We're going to have snacks at the end. And uh, on the way out the door, we're going to give you a fantastic T-shirt. Ooh, that is nice. Yeah, recognizing your donation to the Battle of the Badges this year. Jeremy, in terms of who's won the most right now, the police are up. But uh, I feel fairly certain that Chief Schneider has put out the call in Lebanon and to the surrounding areas of Little County to get all those volunteer firefighters and all those folks who support the fire department out to donate on his behalf. Chief Arnold's gonna gonna have to turn out too. They're campaigning. That's See, good. yeah, don't I, I think both of them are just equal competitors. It's gonna be tough. I definitely think so. So April 29th, one through four o'clock, uh, is that 10, right? Ten AM to four. Oh, Ten to four. Okay, that gives people a little bit more time. And and you're taking good care of them, you're giving them something to eat afterwards, um, if they've never done it. You know, it's not that scary. It's really not. And uh, you know it's it's a simple prick. Our folks are uh, in terms of the needle stick, simple stick, and the knee in the arm. Our folks are going to take really good care of you. Um, lots of conversation. You might even see your favorite police officer or fire um, firefighter there, and uh, come on out and save a life. Um, yeah. Stacy, quick question too. Um, we I've given blood before. How much blood do you actually take from a person? Is there a limit you can take? And if you feel lightheaded, can you lay there for a while? Because I know I did feel a little bit woozy the one time I did it. <laughs> so generally, we take one pint of blood. Um, you can give what we call a double red, which is a, a double unit of packed whole blood cells, and we give your plasma back to you with a unit of saline. Mm. And absolutely, if you're feeling woozy or anything like that, we're going to lay you back. We're going to give you some apple juice, and we're not going to let you leave until you're feeling perfect. Perfect. Okay, that is such a great information. You're definitely giving the gift of life when you uh, give blood. And uh, Stacy, thank you so much. I hope uh, that you get lots of donations, lots of people that volunteer to help out with this. 
Thank you all very much. It's a pleasure to be with you. And Stacy, okay. next time you're yes. cooking with us, so get your Come apron on, ready. Come here and cook with us. We're, we're happy Absolutely. to have you. Okay. All right, thank, thank you. you. Coming up, we're breaking down the clues and guessing who could be behind the masks hmm. of the latest episode of The Masked Singer. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We will. Yeah. <laughs> One time I needed like a cookie because I just was like, woo. Yeah. But I'm glad I did. Yeah.